Okay, so here we are in Inktober week three. So we're starting off with day 15 and the prompt was mysterious. So I decided that I would draw um, 11 from Stranger Things because the new season is coming out pretty soon on Netflix. I think it's coming out within the next few days actually or I don't know, it's coming out in a little while. And she's a pretty mysterious character. So um, yeah, I decided to kind of do my, my take on her. Um, I like how this turned out, except the ear placement is very annoying to me right now. Um, I don't know what I did there, but it just looks like a little floating ear, so let's just take that away. And even if she had no ears, it'd be much better. But look, it's just, oh, it's a mess. Other than that, I re really do enjoy it. And yes, I'm pretty pleased with it. The next prompt was fat, and I kind of don't want to show this entire thing, because, to be honest, it's kind of a self-portrait kind of thing, so there's some fat bits there. And yeah, that's pretty much all you're going to get because I don't really want to show it all. But I'm pleased with how it turned out, but I just, I thought it was something that I would maybe like to share. But as it turns out, don't really want to show it because it's kind of an accurate self-portrait. Let's just flip that over and move on to the next one. Which, I'm going to cover part of this for a minute and just go, yeah, it's so good until I messed up his nose. Look, it's just tiny and awful. Um... The prompt for day 17 was graceful and instead of doing like a ballet dancer or something like I was intending to do to begin with I thought I would go for something else to do with Grace and I thought Grace land and I thought I would do Elvis but um, yeah I messed up his nose and it's too tiny and then I used a new pen that I got which is the Kurataki Mangaka line art pen and I actually I started to line a little bit of his nose after I'd already inked and then it smudged and yeah I just... I'm just frustrating myself because I feel like I'm getting better in a lot of ways and then I just make silly mistakes like the proportion of a nose and smudging inks and stuff and it's just it's pretty frustrating. Um, so after I did this I actually didn't do anything for a few days and I've only just today, this is Sunday, and I've just today kind of caught up so I've had a few today in kind of quick succession so again they potentially could be, potentially could be better but um, yeah. I like some of them. So this is the first one that I did today and it's for day 18 and the prompt was filthy. And I just thought, um, you know, as a parent, kids, they just see muddy puddles and want to jump in them and end up absolutely filthy. But sometimes that's fun just to go out and get totally muddy, filthy and just have a good time jumping about in puddles. I like how I did the hair here. I just kind of um, wet the paper and then just dropped on some black ink and kind of blew it in that direction so that the, the hair was kind of flying up as the little kid was jumping in the puddle. So I quite like that one. Number 19, the prompt was cloud. And what I did was I masked out the shape of a cloud with some masking fluid and then kind of did this inky background. And then I peeled off the masking fluid and it kind of ripped up um, this paper. This is not from this book that I've usually been doing it in. I've been doing some pieces on separate paper and I think just the paper was a bit cheaper and it just kind of ripped up when I took off the masking fluid. So the shape of the cloud is not quite what I was going for but I just thought I would use my gold to kind of line it and add in some little golden raindrops and stuff and it is what it is. As I said these last few have kind of been rushed because i all been done today in the space of a couple of hours so maybe not as good as they could be but at least I'm all caught up now so next one is number 20 and the prompt was deep and I tried to do a kind of um, whirlpool kind of thing I don't know what the orange and gold is all about the edge I was getting kind of tired by this point so maybe we'll just ignore this one but um, yeah I was trying to do like a kind of whirlpooly type situation and it didn't really work out too well and then the last one is one I've just finished, which again I messed up. I mean, I'm just not not really with it today at all. So the prompt was furious and I kind of drew a furious face, but again I made the mistake of going over um, paper that was still damp with my Kurataki um, liner. And so the mouth was like an open angry mouth and um, it just smudged absolutely everywhere and it was just like a smudged blob. So do you know what? I've just stuck some golden circles all over the place and that'll have to do because I'm not going to redo it. It's all about learning and I'm definitely learning what to do and what not to do. So 
Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it for this week. I will need to go and do today's prompt, uh, which I haven't done yet. But yeah, I think my favourite from this week is this one here. So number 18 and then also number 15. I know I've been kind of negative, like pointing at negative points about everything, but it's not that I don't like what I'm doing. It's just that obviously I need to kind of learn. And um, these are things I'm going to learn from rather than just being negative towards myself. So I hope it doesn't come across too negative. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next week for Inktober week four.